Hi, my name is Josh Masters. I'm the owner of Masters Fencing. I'm going to take you for a walkthrough of a 149-foot white TNG privacy six-foot vinyl transitioning from a five-foot uh, right and left return. The right return here, well, I always call it the return because it's coming from the fence turning to the house. That's usually where the gates are. A lot easier than saying, you know, right line, word gate, blah, blah, blah. But here on this uh, right side here, see, we say cross five foot. Got a four foot walk gate. Uh, heavy duty hardware. You can lock it from both sides here. Really easy to operate. You just pull it up like that. It's got a breaker bar. We'll show the inside when we come back through there. Um, got hinges there. Following the floor of the property. Staying nice and tight. We'll come around here on this side. Uh, transitioning from the five foot because of the HOA requirement. That's why. Uh, we've come up to the six foot tall here for the transition panel, bracketing into the five foot with screws. We also have screws on the inside into the post. Um, transition this panel up, following the floor of the property all the way down, staying about you know, two inches, three inches off the ground. Uh, we always try to keep it nice and straight. All the way Pyramid caps here. Each post has got about 20 to 30 pounds of, of concrete. Uh, each six foot uh, panel has got 11 pickets. Uh, U channels on each side. U channels are for any spaces. Then they come between the picket to the post. So we can put a, a scraper in between that and then close it off so it all stays nice and private. Come on back around through here and we'll go uh, we'll try to fix your boat. Operates. It's made for vinyl fencing, so the stuff on it. Uh, it's either way. It could either be installed that way, or it could be installed where it pops the other way. And uh, there's a locking mechanism right here. If you want to pan in here, I'll show you the breaker bar. Breaker bar got two uh, lag bolts here, four here, and the same with that four on the inside lag bolts to the outside. Boom, I'll try to get They're adjustable. We've got screws right here so we can control this gap. This gap, make sure it's not a big wide gap, not too small, make sure it's uh, nice and fluid before you can pop it through here. The transition turned out really nice. Staying on the inside of the property here. See, uh, my installers did a really good job. Nice cleanup. You know, we do take a lot of details and uh, the details of each installation. Dirt up, we'll make sure to rake it down, make it look nice and neat. Stay in the top. There's not really much more to explain about the vinyl install as the detail goes, but we've got a line over here. I'll describe the transition.
straight up and down. You can see how this property is a prime example. It rolls down to the ground. It doesn't go straight up like a driveway. And so if you see how that roll goes through down to the ground in the corner, the top looks exactly the same. That's what makes your perfect distance, perfect gap at the bottom, stay an exact measurement at the top, following the flow of the property. And that's how you want your fence to look. You, know, you always want it to make it look like it matches, it, that it belongs, that it's, uh, you, know, you don't want to have it going straight all the way up here to the top and then having eight foot panels or something of that sort on this side that just doesn't, it doesn't match it. Master's fencing. Cut. <laughs> Want to hit red button?